Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 3. Uh, we're just about to wrap up the war with the uh, Egyptians. Uh, we won't be putting up too much more of a fight, I don't think. Uh, let's see here. Finish an aqueduct there, so we're gonna want to build a library. We uh, usually start off by building a library in newly conquered cities because uh, it increases our science rate, which uh, doesn't suffer from corruption as much. And it uh, also adds culture to the city. And because we're scientific, it's also very cheap to build a uh, library, so uh, it's a good place to start for uh, newly conquered cities. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't deal with unhappiness as much as uh, temples would, but uh, for the most part, we can rely on uh, rely on our luxuries to uh, bring happiness to all of our cities. And you'll notice that a few of the cities are actually in uh, have fireworks going over them, and they're celebrating what's called uh, "We Love the Leader Day" or "We Love the Emperor Day." And uh, I can't remember exactly what the benefit of that is. Um, hmm. Oh, it reduces corruption in the city. That's right. Uh, if you have a, and basically how this works is that there has to be no unhappy citizens in the city, and the number of happy citizens has to outnumber the number of content. And here you can see all of our citizens are citizens are happy, so that's clearly a very happy place to live. So uh, that's going to reduce the uh, corruption in all of the cities that are like that. And quite a few of our cities are like that. Pretty much all of the ones that have built uh, marketplaces are like that, and uh, happiness is abound everywhere. So uh, it's a very good mechanic to have, and uh, if you can get your cities to be that happy, uh, good for you. Uh, you're uh, well on your way to uh, building a wonderful, uh, unstoppable civilization. Anyway, um, that one spearman is still running around, and I don't really want him to get back to the uh, get back to the capital. So I'm going to try to kill him. Off. Oh, no, 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 so, uh, we're able to take him out without too much trouble without the uh, additional defenses in the city to protect him. Uh, we're then going to send the workers back into our city and uh, have them uh, start uh, developing the land for us. And uh, next turn we'll be able to take out uh, Pyramses, and after that there isn't much left of the uh, Egyptian civilization to speak of, so. No, we're just about done with this war altogether, I would say. Uh, the director's going to try to attack us. Uh, we can defend. Uh, we defend. Uh, good for us. So, uh... Oh, they have directors, though. That's a good one. That one needs to win, unfortunately. And uh, he's going to take back his workers. And our golden age has ended. But we completed the mausoleum of Masolus. So, uh, not too bad of a turn overall. I'm going to build a marketplace in our capital. Uh, that'll increase the happiness there and uh, also the wealth generation. Uh, finish the library in Bactra. So, it's going to build a uh, courthouse next to uh, deal with. Oh, actually, it doesn't have much corruption at all. So, it's going to deal. It's going to build a temple instead. Uh, hmm. I want to kill that archer off, so we'll send this, uh, to kill him. And then this one will capture back the workers that, uh, the Egyptians tried to steal back from us. And we'll send them back. Uh, surprised that they had, they suddenly had a sudden influx of archers. I don't know exactly where they got them from, but, uh, I suppose they probably hurried production to try to get them out as quickly as possible. Uh, we're gonna get this worker to help clear out that jungle. And, uh, all these guys are going to attack and hopefully conquer Pyramses. Uh, yep. So we've killed one, and there's only two to defend No, not too many at all. And with that, they're down to uh, one last city. So uh, hopefully we shouldn't have any trouble taking that. And uh, the. Uh, we have over there are going to be a big help in that regard, though we uh, don't have any more reinforcements coming in, so we'll have to finish the job with what we have. Hopefully it won't be too much trouble, though I don't think we have quite enough, so we'll probably have to empty one of these cities of its uh, defenders to uh, send the immortals in them over there. Probably uh, Heracopolis can probably uh, cough up its uh, immortal. I don't think we'll get to uh, keep anyone there. The uh, all these low population cities just get completely swamped by the amount of uh, luxuries that we have, so we don't have to worry about happiness at all. Uh, but yeah, all that's left is Thebes, so that should fall in 
without too much trouble. And at this point we can now start focusing on attempting a war with the Russians, since they're uh, the next closest civilization. Uh, we're going to start researching chivalry, and what that's going to give us is uh, access to knights, which uh, have four attack, three defense, and two movement. Uh, they're, they cost more to build than the uh, warriors, or than the uh, mortals, but uh, their the two movement really uh, helps in a war effort to get our uh, armies around more quickly. Uh, once again, we're going to build marketplaces in all of our cities. They pay for themselves and uh, increase the happiness by a very large amount, so uh, they're always useful to have. We definitely want to build those. Uh, Uh, we're just about ready to start the attack on Thebes. Hopefully it'll go over fairly well. Uh, as you can see, they have an archer there, but uh, with our immortals on the mountain, they, uh, uh, it would be a bad idea for them to attack, I would say. So uh, we're not in any trouble just yet. And uh, these uh, immortals are going to go into Biblos for now and uh, fortify there. And these workers are going to... Uh, build a mine on that mountain, I think. That'll occupy them for a while, I would say. Uh, we're going to start building roads out to uh, the Russian city so we can get to them more quickly when we decide to attack. And uh, hopefully they'll go down easily enough. Uh, we should probably also start building roads out to the uh, mine cities. Or at least one road, and that's all we really need. Um, Let's see here. Temple. So, uh, I guess we could build a barracks in Samaria. Uh, actually, no, we need some marketplace first. And we also need to develop the area around uh, Samaria, I think. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing too well. Uh, we'll build a road over here. Build a road there. Uh, continue setting our mortals up to uh, attack. And they should be there in one more turn. So, uh, hopefully, that archer will come out and attack us, try to attack us, and we can kill him off. Uh, without having to uh, attack him in the city. Um, definitely need to get our sp some uh, pikemen out to the uh, other cities, to these newly captured cities. So uh, we've got to get working on that as well. Uh, Antioch is going to be a while building this uh, Sun Tzu's Otter Boar, unfortunately, by the looks of things. We're actually running a deficit in gold as well now that the Golden Age is over. So uh, we're going to have to do something about that, lower our science rate a bit. So I'll go ahead and do that as well, since I want to keep the gold so we can upgrade our uh, units. Hmm. So uh, I think one jump down should be enough. Yep. And uh, we'll still get chivalry in plenty of time. Uh, I don't expect to be able to attack the Egyptians with the knights, since uh, they're, all, they're far too far behind to uh, have any chance of attacking us with... Uh, or have have any chance of getting uh, knights out before we uh, finish them off, so no help there. Uh, we're now ready to attack the Egyptians. We have three immortals up here. They're going to go there, and uh, these ones are going to go into this forest here, I'd say. They have two archers, which is a bit concerning since uh, two archers can deal a lot of damage, so uh, we'll move these guys into the forest there to uh, give them a bit of a defense boost. Uh, they're probably going to attack Memphis, and if they get a chance to, they'll take it. So uh, I think we'll send this guy down here just to make sure we can take out Thebes. Uh, I'm rather surprised that they decided to go for uh, Memphis there. It's a bit out of the way, and they don't really stand all that much of a chance of taking it, but um, once Thebes falls, those archers will disappear as their uh, civilization is defeated. We'll start by with attacking the with the uh, elite to make sure they can go to the and uh, not really succeed. But we've got plenty more of that to come. Uh, we'll to the back and uh, those will become elite. And uh, I guess they only have one spearman left, so uh, we could be able to get them off without much trouble. And uh, indeed, we uh, captured thieves. And uh, that should mark the end of the Egyptian civilization, and indeed it does. Uh, the Egyptians are now destroyed. Good, they deserved it. Carry on. Uh, we're now going to send our uh, mortals out to the uh, front lines of uh, Russia to uh, start getting ready to attack them. Uh, at this point in the game, we pretty much want to be in constant war, taking out one civilization after another. Uh, neither the mines nor the Russians, I think, can... Uh, 
hope to really resist us all that much, so we don't really need to worry about any uh, uh, alliance against us. Uh, Sun Tzu's Art of War is going to be a while, so it's going to be a while before we can upgrade all these spearmen. But uh, once all these cities start finishing all their uh, uh, production, we can start uh, building up uh, a more sizable military to take on the uh, Russians. And our palace continues to expand. Again, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, most of our cities are happy because of our very large amount of uh, uh, luxury goods, which helps out quite a bit. Um, we're going to continue uh, building up the roads to get into Russia and uh, take them over. There's quite a few roads we need to build in order to get to them. So uh, it's going to be quite a while before we're done there. 